This video has been made to demonstrate the features and benefits of Canary pastry butter sheets for the making of laminate pastries such as puff, danish and in our case today croissants. Canary pastry butter sheets are made from specialty pastry butter with a 37 degree melt point. They are best stored in the freezer between minus 18 and minus 24 degrees. Before use, they should be placed at least 12 hours into a chiller, which is set at zero to plus four degrees. This will enable the pastry butter sheets to temper for best handling. I've made my dough, that has just cooled a little bit in the fridge once I've finished mixing. What we basically want is we want the dough piece to be about double the size of our pastry butter sheet. It's going to place this onto a tray and I'm going to put this in the freezer for maybe 30 minutes just to make sure that the dough will firm up the same consistency as your butter sheet. The key of getting the best out of your canary pastry butter sheet is to use them directly from the chiller as they are pliable enough to be incorporated into the dough for laminating. It is really important to incorporate the butter immediately. This will save time and keeps the process continuous. We're now going to place the butter in the center and then fold the two end bits towards the center. We're going to give this dough with the butter incorporated three single turns. Use three single turns, also often referred to as three fold turns. After each lamination, put the dough back into the chiller for 15 minutes. This resting period will help to slow down fermentation and relax the gluten, hereby enabling the dough to withstand the pressure of continuous rolling. The dough has now fully rested for a half an hour and we are now ready to roll out our croissants. Just to show you the lamination, we're going to cut this dough into half. And as you can see, we've got even lamination. With three single laminations, you end up usually around 27 layers of dough and fat. Make sure that your pastry break has got a little bit flour so your dough piece is not sticking. We need to, first of all, increase the width so we are then able to turn the dough around to then create the thickness we require. Generally speaking, will require a thickness of about three to four millimeters. Be very careful to go down in small increments so the laminating process shouldn't happen too quickly. Once you've got the required thickness, we're gonna roll it up and then place it on our workstation and then going through the process of cutting. We're gonna cut our piece in half. We're gonna fold over. We're going to start the rolling process and this time we're going to do them in a straight manner. You pick up your piece and you roll it towards you. The other way you can do, sometimes people prefer it to roll it away from themselves. Flatten them a little bit and we're going to cover them. The croissants are now ready to be placed into the prover. Make sure that the prover is set at approximately 28 to 30 degrees.
But the croissants have now been in the proof for an hour and are ready to be baked. We're going to egg wash them first. I'm going to bake them in an oven at 220 degrees for 15 minutes. Depending on the equipment and the ovens you've got, the temperatures and the time might vary a little bit. And the result will be perfectly cooked croissants. Perfect. In summary, the five key benefits of using canary pastry butter sheets are as follows. Canary sheets are made from specialty pastry butter with a 37 degree melt point. Canary sheets can be used directly from the chiller. Canary sheets will not break when used chilled. Canary sheets are firm enough to keep dough layers separate. Canary sheets will save you time and make a more consistent product. If you want to make the best croissants in the world, then you must use canary pastry butter sheets.